We just felt Queens is an area um, that could use this district attorney form to get people out, to get people to come listen. Uh, you heard it really hasn't been competitive in 40 years. Um, so when you start to, to look at those things and um, the DA's been there since 1991, you know, a change is coming and to have something like this, we felt it was the right market for us to step in and try to use our platform to elevate what was going on here in Queens. You have to pick the next leader of the district attorney's office, an agency that's over 600 people strong, and to have prosecutors been there for years. So what leader are you gonna pick? Are you gonna pick somebody who's been practicing a few years? Are you gonna pick somebody who's never done law enforcement in, in the past? Or are you gonna pick somebody who's been doing it and has been doing it progressively for over 18 years? So again, the most important question you can consider in ending mass incarceration, our broken system in Queens, is who do you trust to do these things? Because this is a once in a generation opportunity to transform our system, and we can't afford to have career politicians that haven't been in criminal court, or career prosecutors who have thrived in the very system they now say they seek to dismantle. Just a few miles from here, on Rikers Island, there are thousands of people who have not been convicted of anything at all, who are sitting in jail, only because they do not have the money in their pocket to pay cash bail. So that is why I have long opposed cash bail under any circumstance whatsoever. The district attorney for all the laws that are passed are gonna have a lot of discretion. And there is no doubt that you need to have faith in that person. And I agree with my colleagues, experience matters. Experience matters. But it also matters to get real criminal justice reform, to make sure that you get people to buy into that system here in Queens, where no one has bought into the system of criminal justice reform for over 30 years. I was born in Elmhurst Hospital, raised in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. While the odds were against me, I started the first Hispanic woman-owned law firm in New York at One World Trade Center. And uh, the firm is still going strong 27 years later, and I'm proudly running for Queens District Attorney. There hasn't been a competitive race for Queens District Attorney since 1977, 42 years. And the good voters of Queens County need to ask that very important question. Who is qualified and who is experienced to do this very important job of the top law enforcement official in a county of 2.4 million people, the, the most diverse county in the country, if not the world? I think a lot of communities that we've seen don't really understand the importance of the district attorney. So when we do something like this, it invites people to come out to learn more and then to get out and vote. I think ultimately that's what we want. We want people to listen to these candidates and then go out there and vote on June 25th.